Hi there, it's me, Art, and I'm fresh off my victory at the Shark Tank. And I'm going to tell you tonight about a business opportunity that the Sharks said was worth a million dollars. And they're right. And they wanted me to sell my business opportunity for a hundred thousand dollars. But I wouldn't do it. <clears throat> I'm going to allow you to start for free. And they valued it at a million dollars. And I'll explain to you why. <clears throat> because I'm in the publishing and advertising business. And it's really no different than the Val Pack franchise, coupon franchise, the Homes and Land real estate magazine franchise, the Clipper magazine franchise, the Coffee News franchise. These are all franchises. On average, they charge $75,000 for their franchise. It's another franchise, Natural Awakenings, it's all the healthy stuff. Here's another franchise, the Coastal Angler. Here's another franchise, the Auto Trader. These are all franchise magazine publications, and they're all selling franchises all over the country. But the thing is, I teach you to do your own franchise, but you see, why did the Sharks put such a big value on my business opportunity? Because when you buy a franchise from any one of these companies, you get a tiny little territory. And what I'm allowing my students to do is have the whole country, the whole world. There are no territorial restrictions. So... You could start your valve pack in your own community or your generic valve pack. You know, I teach you everything there is. And then you could expand it all over the country. You could start 10, 20 different magazine franchises. It doesn't matter. What I teach my students is all the same mechanics. It doesn't matter what they're going to print. They're going to make money. And I've been doing magazines for years and teaching people for years. Here's one of my papers. Here's another one of my papers. Here's a paper for one of my students. These are all color papers. Here's another paper from another student. Here's another paper. I could go on and on with all my different papers. And there's even more. <clears throat> but anyhow, the way the Shark Tank feels about this opportunity is that, number one, if you purchase 10 different franchises, that's $750,000. And that's with one tiny zip code in each, each business plan, each franchise. If you were to take this, each one of these franchises and go national with them, forget about it. It could reach into the millions and millions of dollars. So the sharks... And they don't make many mistakes. They told me that my business opportunity is worth millions of dollars. And you can get in on my business opportunity and you could start for free. And I'm going to explain all the details to you. Now, I left the shop ta shark tank <coughs> because they wanted me to charge $100,000 for my opportunity. But I'm usually working with people that are working with full-time jobs and elderly people. The people I work with, they're usually broke. But anyhow, I didn't want to take the deal, and I'm going to continue to work with the people that are in dire need of getting into their own businesses. So, but right away, you're a million dollars ahead of the game. And that's according to the sharks. Now, how much can you earn in the publishing business? There's no limit. I mean, you know, you could have five papers. 
you could have, a, you could franchise any one of them under your own label. Uh, some of my students do have five papers. Some of them do sell franchises. There's no limits. There's also another facet to this business that I'm going to get into at the very end. This much I'll tell you. There's a fortune that could be made in newspaper and magazine publishing, and you can do it from your own home. And because of my years of success in this business, I can teach you how to do it without any investment, without any startup costs. All the customers are there in place waiting for you already. Basically, it's an advertising business and every customer I go to buys because I sell them a full color ad for one cent delivered to all the people that are surrounding their business in the mailbox one cent for a full color ad they all sign on and i'm going to tell you later i'm going to give you the sales pitch and you'll understand why they sign on one of my students started with a 68 page auto trader magazine because there was a 120 page book in his community so it was very easy to copy them and get all the customers just charge them less money made $50,000 his first issue. Look at all the newspapers and magazines in your own area. Now listen, not every area is conducive for this business. If you live in the boondocks, then it's not going to work. There's got to be people there. And I'll check it out for you, and that's free too. If you call me up, give me your zip code, I'll look it up, with my software and I'll tell you how many homes and businesses are in your zip code and whether or not you could, you know, your community is supportive of this type of business. Like I say, if you're living in the boondocks, it could be a problem. Actually, it's a problem. <laughs> if there's no people by you, there's no businesses by you, there's nobody to advertise to. Another thing I forgot to mention, the sharks, they said that because I teach people the business from the ground up and they're not paying anybody to design their ads, they're doing it themselves, and then nobody's making money on their printing, I'm sending them right to my printer. They're buying 12-page all-color newspapers for under 10 cents, and there's no royalties. They said that's worth another million dollars in the long run. So according to the Sharks, this business opportunity is worth $2 million, and you can start for free. Make sure you visit my website and watch all the tutorial videotapes, including the one, How to Start for Free in Your Own Community. Don't start for free unless you check that your community can support this kind of business, so you should call me up. But anyhow, people are getting rich in this business. There's a tremendous amount of profit. And like I say, you can start your own franchise like the Val Pack, the Clipper Magazine, the Homes and Land, the Auto Trader, anyone you want, and it doesn't cost you anything. And they're all making a fortune. Like I say, there's a lot of money in the publishing business, publishing, advertising, you know, and you know, mailing. You're going to be mailing this to all the customers, all the households surrounding all these businesses. Uh, at least some of the magazines, they rotate around targeted mailings. Some of them you're just going to distribute in supermarkets and various retail outlets. And no matter how you distribute, there's a fortune of money to be made. Now, can you do it? <clears throat> I don't know. Can you do it? Well, there's 25,000 independent publishers in America today, and I'm just one of them. And every time I train someone into this business, they just add one more. There's also over 2,000 publishers publishing different franchise magazines all over the country. And can you do it? Yes, you can do it, because I teach my students to do the graphics. I teach my students to lay the paper out. 
I teach my students how to get the paper printed with all the specifications. I te <coughs> teach my students how to do the advertorials, which will separate their medias from the competitors. They'll be better than any of those coupon papers I just mentioned. I teach my students <coughs> how to navigate <coughs> the bulk mailing system. Oh, how to navigate the bulk mailing system and how to mail their papers for 17 cents a copy. I teach my paper uh, students everything. And when you get started, I tweak the ads for you. When a customer says, make me up a sample ad, I want to see it before I give you any money. So you'll make up the ad because I taught you how to do it, but then you'll send it to me and I'll tweak it <clears throat> and I'll make sure your customer approves it. My methods are proven. I've been doing them for years. They didn't start out proven. <laughs> I made mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes in the beginning. But I'm doing this now for years, and everything I do now comes out perfect. And again, there's no startup course in this business, because when I teach you the business, you're going to go around to the stores, and you're going to sell advertising. You're going to have a sample paper like this. This particular paper is made just to sell advertising. It's got sales pictures throughout it. Look at this over here. This color ad, reaching your neighbors for one cent. But there's sales promotions throughout the paper and advertorials and my best ads ever. The paper does the selling for you. There's a whole videotape just on the paper. And to remind you again, I'll get you the 12 page all color new paper printed for under 10 cents. That's for the whole 12 pages. You know, if you go to Staples, they get 59 cents for one color copy. But I can show you out, well, my printer will do it for you. And a lot of times we find printers, I'm associated with 25 at a minimum all across the country. But if you want, you could use my printer under 10 cents. Sometimes we find printers in your own area, it's even less money. But when you go into the businesses, you're going to go in with maps showing where you're going to be mailing the papers. You're going to be going with bulk mail receipts, so they're going to know you're legitimate. This is what it looks like when you come back from the printer and the papers are in your car. Unless my printer's going to mail it to you. Then you're going to get a little pallet of papers. It's no big deal. It's three feet by three feet. Comes up two feet off the ground. It's 20 little boxes with 500 in it. That's 10,000 papers. Weighs 20 pounds a box. It's nothing. This is what the papers look like when you wheel them into the post office for the bulk mailing. And I teach my students everything. Everything I know I teach you, including how to sell. And I'm going to go into that in a minute about how I sold every single customer that I ever visited because nothing could compete with my direct targeted mail advertising newspapers. Uh, and I would get a lot of business online. I would go on to the yellow pages and I would self send flyers just like this to all the skilled trades on Craigslist. I would send it to the uh, different trades in the yellow pages. I would find business cards around and I would send ads to them on their emails. I would find business cards in restaurants, in libraries, on post offices, and I was always emailing my sales flyers, and I would get customers that way. And uh, you know something, when we mail the paper to a house, there's three people in a house. And when we sell it, we sell it for less than the price of a business card. Because right here, uh, for instance, my own paper, I was mailing 10000 so I would charge a guy $100 for the ad. For him to buy 10,000 business cards cost $680 from Vistaprint. 
and there's three people in the house. So it was like printing 30,000 business cards. Every business I went to signed on for advertising with me. Anyhow, advertising was easy to sell. The paper was easy to do. Once you know how to do it, it wasn't easy in the very beginning. Okay, but I teach you everything. I hold your hand and I take you step by step and teach you the whole business. And because of the fact that my paper specializes in advertorials, we kill all the competition because the advertorials, they're like stories. And the people remember the stories better. And the stories are like reading material, so they keep the paper in the house longer. And when the potential advertiser reads the advertorial, when you show up with the sample paper, they get blown away. And they say, whoa, could you do that for me? And yeah, you could do that for them. I teach you how to do that, just like I teach you how to do the regular ads. Advertorials are proven to be 10 times more effective. So you're gonna crush the competition just with your advertorials alone. Forget about the price. But anyhow, if you Google it, you'll see for yourself that they're 10 times more effective. So therefore, it's better for your customers and it's better for you because they have to take at least a half page in order to do an advertorial. So that's what it is, you know. You, you know, most of the ads are going to be bigger than the penny a house, but that's how you get in the door. That's how they all get excited when they hear that. And since I came up with my sample paper dedicated for the one purpose of selling advertising, of helping my students sell advertising, every student who has gone out to sell advertising has succeeded. No failures yet. Everybody is succeeding. The paper was strategically laid out so that when the potential advertiser is looking at an ad or reading an advertorial in the corner is your sales pitches that you're giving to him as he's looking things over. It's unbelievable. It was years in the making and now it's here and you can benefit from it. Used to be only 60% of the students went on to publish the papers because they got samples of my papers with my North and South Carolina advertisers in it. Sometimes they weren't good salespeople. But now all you have to do is just turn the pages. The customers are going to buy. You just have to read your script right out of the paper. And the printing, I got it down so cheap now. I sent so many of my students to my printer that he's repaying me with a special price of under 10 cents for a 12-page all-color newspaper. It's unbelievable. Full color, gorgeous colors. And I'll be able to get it for you because you see, I put you right in touch with my printer. I don't make any money off you. I train you to do everything yourself in this business where nobody makes a nickel off you. You just make money. You go, I teach you how to do the bulk mailings for 17 cents a paper. I teach you how to get the paper printed for under 10 cents a paper. So there ain't anything you're not gonna know. I teach you how to lay out the years. And you know how I teach you? It's really easy. I teach you on Skype with what's called share screen. So when you're watching your computer screen, you're watching me as I'm designing and doing stuff. Then I say, okay, your turn. Now you go down to the bottom of the computer, you press on the program icon, and now up comes the program, and now I'm telling you what to do. You just saw me do it, and now I'm telling you what to do. Nobody ever has a problem doing it because of this system. And you'll make a beautiful ad the first night. So you don't have to have any special skills and you don't have to worry if you could do it or not. Anybody can do it. I go slow, it's on the Skype, 
you're watching me as I'm doing it. It's the greatest system. It's all mechanical, like I say. Easy, easy, easy. And like I say, selling the advertising, it's unbelievable. Everybody signs on. As soon as you give them the paragraph, hey, I bought a newspaper franchise and I'm going to be mailing my paper to everybody in the zip code, your zip code, all 13,000 homes. And I'm going to have full color ads just like this for a penny a house. It's going to come in the mailbox. Do you think you're interested? There's three people in the house, you know. Oh, they're all interested. And I'm going to go over it in a couple of minutes. But you just don't sell people like that. You sell everybody. You're going to sell the biggest customers, the guys on TV, the guys on the radio. There's nobody that can compete with this targeted direct mail advertising vehicle. Anyhow, I'm going to get into that. I already told you about the advertorials, about how when they read them, they're going to want them. So any, any of the customers that are in any other medias, when they read this, it's like, wow, where have you been? So, and then what happens is when you go to visit an advertiser and they're in a coupon book like the Clipper magazine or the Valpac, so you tell them, yeah, I seen you in there, you know, but I can provide you with more effective advertising and you don't have to give anything away and I'll bring uh -huh. new customers in because the ones coming into you with those coupons, they're your regular customers and you're giving away the house, but I'm going to write all about you, your benefits, People that never been here before are going to read about you and are going to come in and become your customers. And your customers are still going to continue to come, but they're not going to get a discount anymore. Oh, the customer businesses they love. I got a list of the different businesses that I would sell advertising to. The list is endless. Check it out on my website. Make sure you visit the website, Fun News Franchise. You got the annotation over on the screen you can press on it but first watch the rest of this video then watch the rest of the videos when you go to my website but anyhow when you read those advertorials for yourself on my website you'll understand why everyone signs on now can you work at home yeah I'd say about 85 percent of the work is done at home because I'm designing the ads I'm sending out emails I'm prospecting at home. I mean, you do got to go out. You do got to visit the local businesses. That you do have to do. But you're still doing the bulk of the work at home. The bulk of the work at your own computer. You know, you're laying out the paper at home. You're preparing the bulk mailings at home. A lot of stuff you're doing at home. And you're going to be making money while you're sleeping. I'm going to tell you all about that in a little while. Now, one of the things is uh, I'm going to teach you all the shortcuts. And uh, let's see, I got some notes here. And I'm looking at them for the second time. Now, the training and support, I'm the trainer. I'm going to talk to you on the Skype. You're going to be calling me at home. I'm training people since 2009. So far, I haven't had a complaint because I better not get a complaint. You'll wake me up at night, and I don't want nobody waking me up at night. That's why I say call me up, I'll check on your community, and I'll be checking on you <laughs> if you don't seem like you got the capabilities to be in business, then I'm not going to work with you as my student. The way it works is we make that ad the first night, and then you make a couple of more ads, you send it to me, and I correct them. I show you the difference between your ads and my ads. We go back and forth, and we do the same thing with advertorials. Then after that, I help you put together your presentation book so you could, go, you could be out selling in five days and look incredible. So you're out selling in five days. Then they're telling you, yes, sounds great. Make me up a sample ad. I'll be tweaking your ads for you. You need Windows 7 or Windows 8 
to work with me and my special software. If you got a Mac, so you buy a cheap, regular computer with Windows 8 on it. And don't forget, you got to call me up, and we've got to check on your zip code, and you got to visit the website. There's so much more information there, including a long video on how you can start this business for free. And I advise you to do that. Basically, my training is usually around 12 hours, but it never ends. As long as you keep publishing and you keep needing me, I'm here. I got nowhere else to go, and I love to do graphics, and I love to help my students succeed. Now, one of the categories on my website will take you to my website, where my paper is. And if you go there, what you're going to see is... I was mailing my paper to five different zip codes, North and South Carolina. And no, I wasn't mailing a million people. There were just no people where I was. It was a rural area. There were no regular businesses, mainly restaurants and two Walmarts. You know, no real business could have survived in that area with the two Walmarts over there. And we all went to Walmarts. And my paper was in North Carolina, North and South. I was right by the border. Now I'm back in New York because I kept my house here, but the idea is half the businesses out there in the Carolinas wouldn't talk to me because they didn't like my accent. They didn't like the Northerners. They don't like the Yankees. And they're right. We're arrogant. Listen... Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. We're not like them. We're not polite like that. We're arrogant. We're brutally honest. So half them wouldn't even talk to me when they heard my accent. So, but between the fact that I had to reach out a 30-mile radius to reach 20,000 homes, there were no businesses there other than Walmart, half the businesses wouldn't speak to me. I still had no problem making $100,000 a year and working three hours a day for the six years that I operated my paper in that territory. But a lot of times my students, they're so lucky they got 20,000 homes in one zip code in a three-mile radius. It's so easy. Sometimes I would be mailing my paper to North Carolina and my advertisers in the South Side and South would say, I don't get as much response when you mail to the other side of the border. And I'd say, well, you still get 30% of your business, don't you? Like, I don't know if it's that. And they were right. You know, <laughs> they didn't get as much. So I used to have to battle that objection. But some of my students, most of them are so lucky. They have great zip codes in urban areas where there's just more people and that makes it so easy. Nobody ever says anything. They're not happy where you're mailing the paper. It's the easiest thing in the world. Now, I had no competition. I made all my money from the competitors. Whoever was advertising, no matter where they were advertising, I, I looked up whoever was advertising. If they were spending money, I targeted them. For instance, there was a valve pack there, and I went to all the advertisers there, and I told them, half the people don't go through the envelope. And I know it's true, because I don't. It's too much work. It was so easy to convince them to go into my paper for less money, because the people, not only do they go through the paper, it's easy to go through, but they keep it around the house for weeks, because there's reading material and everything, if there's one coupon in there that you're interested in, you keep the whole paper around with the valve pack. You, if they even go through it, you pick out one coupon and you throw the rest into the garbage so there's no comparison. There was a coffee news in my territory. And I used to go to the diner there. And I used to use the coffee mat, the coffee noose, as a placemat, and so did everyone else. It was one page. It was used more of a placemat than anything else. I went to the advertisers on the coffee noose. 
they signed on. They they knew that all they everybody just threw that out, you know. It never made it into the home. Nobody ever got familiar with who was on the coffee news, you know. It was a blowout. And then I would go to all the advertisers in the big newspapers. And the story is these big newspapers, people don't buy them today. They get the news on the internet. But the idea is that three out of ten people do buy the big newspaper, but they when they buy it, one of the three buys it for the sports section, another one buys it for the classified section, and only one of the ten goes through the whole paper. And unfortunately, the big newspaper usually covers a hundred mile radius, such a far distance that when you put an ad in there, you're reaching people so far away, they ain't never coming to your business. And you're only reaching one out of 10 people anyhow, so you're really wasting your money. Those people were so easy to sign on from the big newspapers. Some of my customers were big TV advertisers, and I had no, no problem getting them aboard either. Because between all the different direct TV, dish TV, satellite TV, regular channels, the odds of somebody catching the guy's TV commercial and the odds of the customer being in a close enough vicinity to actually get to you is like a playing Russian roulette. When I would mail my paper out, I would mail it to everybody, all the households that are surrounding the business. So the people that are gonna get my paper are all close enough to go into the business and spend money. So I never had any competition with the TV guys or with the radio guys. They were on it just because they had so much money to burn. But by the time I was done talking to them, they agreed. They knew I was right. They knew it didn't make any sense. But they said, well, I signed a contract. Anyhow, then I used to get customers. They used to send postcards to my house. And they'd pay 80, 90 cents to send one postcard to my house. And I would put them in my paper for a penny a house. And then they wouldn't throw the postcard out like they do right away. I've signed on a lot of different, I've trained a lot of different real estate people into this business now. And a lot of them, they always tell me how they were spending 80 cents to send out those stupid postcards that said, we sold a house on your block, you know. They told me they never got a response from it, and they hated spending that money, and they would only send out like a couple of hundred at a time, you know. So, <laughs> I mean, forget about it. The real estate people that signed on with me to learn this business immediately went around to all their buddies and got them in the paper for a couple of pennies. They put them into 10,000 homes. Everybody wants to get into the home, and the reason the paper is so effective, it's like I would tell the postcard guys, you know, if it's a plumber postcard, postcard comes, the plumber's, plumbing's working, the postcard goes right in the garbage. Boom, a dollar in the trash can. 